Welcome to Raven's Over. Please go to my channel, also hit the notification bell, like this video, and share. You know, I want to talk about my sisters that's definitely got into some trouble and they didn't name her. I want to share her story. Hit the like and share button. I created this channel for people with different support those murdered. to support you. There's a PayPal on top. People murder. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community as not being in existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that cater to people who are different and stand in the truth. Fishing and the you. allies sit back and say, Well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here and learn support to learn. Support those no judgment who support so, you. I love you. Stand okay, in I'm going to need y'all to work over here me here her name is miss collins now of course they did name her i'm not going to do this to her due to the fact that just because she's a two-spirit woman she doesn't have to be dragged all the way through the dirt and reference to try to give the government name now the police suspect arrested after a druggy man leaving him unconscious outside a hotel allegedly now miss collins also accused of uh, in a sting of similar incidents back in miami this story is being reported as of June 11, 2021, which means as of today. Miami Beach, Florida, a transgender woman arrested this week in uh, accusations that she drugged multiple men in South Florida and then stole their expensive watch. The incident involving uh, Ms. Collins, 29 years old, allegedly occurred in both the city of Miami and Miami Beach. Now, Ms. Collins um, was approached was to approach men wearing expensive watches and offer them rides in a rental luxury exotic car that she was driving miami police officers um kyra said in the news release most of the victims were around the bar nightclubs and in the brico <coughs> excuse me and downtown areas when the victims entered the cars they would be offered drinks and drugs allegedly when the victims consumed the drugs and drinks they would lose consciousness the victim would excuse me the victims would wake up later and notice that their watches were stolen according to the rest report regarding one of the incidents collins who is from miami was sitting in a rental maserati suv and saw the victims leaving and did not sit on the furniture lounge at 423 16th street around 4 a.m june the 4th and asked him if he wanted for a ride police said that the victim approached the offer and told collins that he will be staying at the one hotel south beach and collins avenue which is amazing same name the victim but the victim says he remembered very little about the trip and recalls waking up at Mount Sinai Medical Center. According to the arrest report, surveillance video show Collins pulling up in front of the parking lot at 100 block on 24th Street, helping the victim who nearly unconscious out of the SUV and then laying him down on the pavement in the parking space, allegedly. A hotel, a hotel worker saw what was happening and told Colin to call 911, but she left the scene, authorities said. Police said that the hotel worker then called 911. Miami Beach Fire Rescue personnel transported the victim to the hospital. The victim told the officers he believed that Colin may have slipped something into his drink. Now, Collins, who was located Wednesday driving a rented Porsche Panam Panamera, forgive me, I butchered your name, Obviously, no, I don't have money like that. Was arrested on charges of grand theft, robbery, and um, sudden snatching of possession of cocaine. Police said that Collins refused to take any statements to the detectives. Miami police believes that more than the, more victims out there and or ask anyone to believe that they have been targeted by Collins to come forward to the authorities. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now... This is the thing. Um, I'm reading some of these comments when they send him or her to prison. Do they send to the male or female prison? I'm not going to go there because you know what? This is my thing. Ignorance is popular and dumb as forever. So I'm not going to go there with these comments here. That's not part of my commentary. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and stuff like that. But my thing is this is that I don't know if the story is accurate. All I know, they're giving out her government name. I believe, like, I believe that it's just an attack on the character at hand. Now, the incident involving um, Ms. Collins allegedly occurred to both um, city of Miami 
in Miami Beach. Now, um, she's allegedly said she would, she would um, would drive up and she was driving a luxury car, and she was driving. Um, Miami police um, say that that in the release video, the most of the victims were around the bars and the nightclub in Brick Hill in the downtown area where the victims entered the car. They were offered drinks and drugs. Now, this is my thing. That's questionable to me. Now, why would you sit outside of a car that you'd be offered drinking drugs and why would you do it? That's one of one as a little kid, 13 years old, on Halloween, we're known not to take things from people. We don't take drugs and we don't drink from strangers that we don't know. You know, and most people who do drugs, I like they know. Well, I'm not gonna say everybody because I don't know. Everybody's a different individual, but most times when people do drugs and stuff like that, if you don't really know that person, you're not supposed to do that. But I understand maybe they're high, maybe they're on something, maybe they're into that, or maybe they were just so mesmerized by her beauty. I do not know. When the victims consumed the drinks and drugs, they were uh, they would lose consciousness. My thing is this once again, but why would you take, why would you drink a drug from a perfect stranger you just got in the car? You got into a perfect stranger's car on the streets. Rule number one, as a parent, that's the first thing your parent tell you as a child. But that's, that's just my opinion. Y'all can comment about that below. The victims will wake up later and notice that their watches were stolen. That's unfortunate, but, um. It's not fair. It's unfortunate, allegedly, if this has actually happened. But my thing is, is that you got a chance to wake up because she could have did something more. So um, thank God she was not that type of girl because the situation would have been turned around and it would have been men on her. We would not be saying that she did it. She, we'd be saying that she's been murdered. If the story was switched around, but I'm just saying, according to the rest reports regarding one of the incidents, Collins, who was from Miami, was sitting in the rented Maserati SUV, saw the victims leaving, did not sit on the furniture lounge at the 423 16th Street around 4 a.m. on June the 4th, was asked him if he needed a ride, a perfect stranger, asking you if you need a ride. But you know, this is a thing, and I'm not going to judge anybody because my thing is this, is that person going to do something crime area to you, um, you have to be aware. I'm not going to make it about me due to the fact that I feel as though I have trust issues. I don't trust anybody. So obviously I wouldn't have gotten into the car, you know, and I don't want to make this story about me, but it's just a known fact. Um, we don't trust anybody, but I understand maybe they were just mesmerized. Maybe they're just drunk. She pulled up in this car that was really luxury. They didn't question it. They didn't do anything. To me, I know I'm making it about me. If I see somebody pull up in a luxury car and it's really nice, the first thing I'm thinking is stolen. That's just me. And I ain't getting in there, but that's just me. Some people may jump in. Sure, why not? You need a ride? No, nah, I'm good. But that's just me. Would y'all jump in the car? Somebody pull it with a brand new, um, um, basically, um, what's these cars called? Luxury cars. And you have somebody, a stranger pops up to y'all to get in. Would y'all get in? Comment below. And as you know, I've been doing a little bit more digging and stuff. And basically, I found a cross of Beth into the court scene. And the girl is really pretty. It's funny because she looks, the pictures don't do her justice as pretty as she is. But I want y'all to check this out. Look at this. This is her inside the court and everything. And it's basically going after her and stuff. But check this out. All right. Total violence in the seven is matter is fifty-seven thousand five hundred. All right. State is also requesting the nebia and house arrest in addition to the bond. With an based on monitor. the amount, of, based on the amount of right. jewelry that was stolen. Um, well, also, I, I'm having a real problem with the with nebia because it appears. The nebia that got on this judge. This person he's setting a crazy like press one person frame not a case like this so judge the items that she stole were very expensive watches the detectives testified that they ranged from between i believe ten thousand dollars one watch is thirty eight thousand dollars so we don't have any information that she's got any kind of legitimate job she's stealing these watches, potentially selling these watches, and the state doesn't want her to use the money that she received from the sale of these watches in order to post her bonds. We don't know her address. She's got the open case out of county for false information to police, and she was also extradited to New York. So I think she is a danger to the community. She's a flight risk. And I want to make sure that the money she's using to post her bond doesn't come from selling 
these watches that she stole from these men. Judge, Judge, you know how many people in Miami Beach, how many young ladies and young men don't have any jobs in Miami Beach? The government, if they're going to be asking for nevias for people that don't have employment, to post bonds, everyone's going to need a nevia. Nevia is a ridiculous requirement. The New York case, if she may have picked up a charge there and got extradited there, she never picked up a warrant. And I've been in communication with law enforcement on this case since their first interaction with her on a misdemeanor charge. I think a nevia is ridiculous, Judge, and I would object to it. I'm sorry, Judge, you're granting the Nebbia? I'm agreeing with the state. That's over my objection. Okay. And Your Honor, for case a number that ends in 111, was the bond 5,000? The last case we did? Last case was, yes, 5,000. Thank you. And what about the state's request for house arrest in addition to the bond? You're going to, a standard bond, you've added a nebia, I, I think house arrest is, uh, I mean, we can't give the government everything they want every time they ask for it. I'm I think it's not really house arrest. Thank you, Judge. Yeah. That is over state's objection. So thank you, Judge. Nice right. seeing you, Miss F. You look wonderful. Tell your husband I said hi. Thank you, everybody. You see, she's friendly with somebody. Yeah. I don't know. But, um... She was smiling, so that's a good sign. She don't seem like she's hurting too bad. But um, there was just an update in reference to what she's going through, Miss Collins. And my goodness, and my God, may God bless you and everything happen for you. And I don't know what's going on, but I give you a little idea what just happened to her. She left out the courtroom. She was smiling. She was laughing. She says, thank you. And thank you, Judge. And she seemed like she's a little bit happier, allegedly. Y'all comment below. Let me feel about this. Now, was she being set up? Was they doing some conspiracy? Were they just towering at her because she's a two-spirit one? I do not know. You see what I see. What y'all can do is comment below. Let me know how you feel about this. Do you feel like she was targeted? you feel like they're trying to stop a business? And this is questionable. Why would somebody give you drugs and drinking inside of a car? And what, It's just amazing to me. But, you know, I don't know. Some people are gullible. I'm not going to blame the victim. I don't know. I just want to share this with you. Y'all can comment below if you feel about this. Would you get inside of a car with a perfect stranger and they offer you drinking and drugs in 2021 with their human trafficking and so many negative things going on in the world? Comment below. Like I said before, it's kind of my channel to top this Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow you back. I've, and share this video and like this video. I love to hear your feedback. Let you I love you and thank you for watching. Catch the rave. Please be safe out there because the world is a crazy place.